Well, Lee, what a difference a good result uh, makes when you cast a night. Everybody's buzzing in here. Might be raining out there, but the, the sun's shining. But you did say on this video last week that you thought Ma Manchester United had no cutting edge, and that proved to be the case. Well, definitely, yeah. Especially when uh, Rooney curled that air for he kicked the wrong side of the post in the last minute. Yeah, yeah. But uh, I have to say, I was quite nervous. My stomach was churning once that free kick I'd given away. Yeah. And, uh, I did fear for Newcastle, but overall, thoroughly deserved the point at least. And you know, maybe he could have even nicked it at yeah. some stages. You know. Yeah, I mean that's, uh, that's what it came after the game. I says the only time I thought you were anxious, Kevin, was at the end. He says, "Yeah," and he said, "He says they didn't know whether it had gone in or not." Uh, in contrast, we've got a, you know the Manchester United were very grumpy. We've got a lot of stick from the Manchester United <laughs> fans, both before and after the game. They were saying it was a wasted journey, but after the game, they were saying, "Wait till we get our full team out." Uh, very bitter, weren't they? Very, yeah. And we responded by saying, "Wait till we excuse the we get our full team out." I think. People are forgetting Michael Owen, um, Mark Baduga, who all scores against Manchester United, and, and Joey Barton weren't playing. I see you talking to Shea after the game there, Lee. Did you talk about that one to him on the heat? Yeah, he did. He said that uh, you know in the in the dressing room and on the training field that he sometimes gets a nickname Blockhead, but uh, of course. It, it, it came uh, in handy, you know. And he said he doesn't care what what he gets in the way of the shots as long as something in the way, and uh, that was a. I mean, I thought it was a, uh, a brilliant world-class save I, at first, and I, then when I seen the replay, I, I think people that were watching the game didn't realise that we saw it on the on the on the replay. Mm -hmm. um, I, I thought the fans were fantastic yesterday. I've got to apologise to them and, and the Chronicle here, on Jonas, here, there, and everywhere. Um, I, I've nicked it off the fans from yesterday. I have missed a word out, but uh, I'm sure they, they won't mind that. But uh, the two new signings were, were fantastic. South Americans and then Danny Guthrie great as well I mean I thought Honas uh, must have covered nearly every blade of grass on that pitch he was just absolutely everywhere mm -hmm. um, you know people you did speak to him after the game Lee sorry didn't yeah, you yeah, yeah, did yeah was, was he okay abs yeah absolutely beaming I mean was, I've never seen a player like so happy with the reception from the Newcastle fans he, he can't believe it you know what I mean but, uh, and him and Colocini were set, set off for uh, Belarus for the friendly so let's Fingers crossed, mm -hmm. they come back uh, in one piece, sort of thing. <laughs> yeah, and I mean, Kevin, you know, you know, we, we've led the Chronicle and I'm sure happy, uh, and he, he, it's the best performance he's, he says he's ever had from his team at Old Trafford. And I mean, he was very relaxed after the game. I mean, I know you do doing the plays, and I spoke to him, absolutely delighted. He, you know, he he was. We all thought Newcastle would lose, but typical Kevin Keegan, he he, he always has f f faith in his team. Um, the other story, of course, we carrying, uh, which were, were revealed on Saturday night in Newcastle, keen on Saviola. I mean, you know, I'm not a great expert on uh, continental football, but at least I've heard of this guy, and I think that he'll be a tremendous signing. Well, it'll be a world-class signing. I mean, it would be one where the fans co are celebrating on the steps of St James' Park. Yes, you know, yes. We've seen that before, haven't we, when people turn up in the numbers to welcome new signings, and he fits right into that bracket. Mm -hmm. He's an absolutely class player, and... If he's uh, if he does half as well as uh, Guterres has done already, mm -hmm. then yeah. that's a great sign. I mean, Colacini, I think probably going to see better of him on. We a little bit nervous at times, but early on, yeah, he yeah, grew yeah. in confidence as the game went on. And uh, yes, yes, you know, that's, I'm delighted with all all, all of them. Yeah, all well, of the, the new boys that have come in, you know. I mean, you know, it's uh, we feel like Newcastle's won actually. I mean. Uh, you know, people are saying to me, great, 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 now I'm trying to stay cool and say, yeah, two points dropped, you know, but it, it, it's fantastic and uh, let's hope there's more to come. I see Gary Megson was there yesterday, he left about with 15 minutes to go, he'll have uh, plenty to think about, but it's uh, big you Sam know, as well. a big Sam, yeah, <laughs> big Sam was there, hoping uh, probably to see Newcastle lose, like uh, his big pal Alex Ferguson, but no, um, you, we've got to give credit to everybody that connect with Newcastle United. Uh, the players, Kevin and Terry Martin, Chris Hutton, to be fair, and uh, fans, fantastic again. Um, let's hope that this is uh, the first of many happy videos, Lee. Yep, definitely.